right, peace, y'all, peace, peace. Um, this video, um, I'm gonna get straight to it and uh, give y'all some information. This is only for my Patreon uh, supporters, uh, just off the strength of this. I had to put it on Patreon. I can't put this one on YouTube. Only off the strength of of the fact that um, a lot of there be a lot of graphic detail in in this video. So I don't I don't want to uh, violate YouTube's. Uh, community guidelines, anything of that nature, but um, <clears throat> we're gonna talk about something uh, that's very important, and I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, signs, symbols, and sacrifices. All right, um, and why they're so important. You know what I'm saying in the music business, why these things are important. Now I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there. Do not. Anything that I tell y'all to do, do not try none of this at home, okay? This is for educational purposes only, all right? Um, like I said, I've experienced, I've had experience with dealing with these type of uh, things before. Um, so I'm going to give y'all um, somewhat of a description on how these things transpire and why they transpire in the music business or entertainment for, for that matter, in general, okay. Um, so we'll start with um, signs and symbols, okay. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of people think uh, the eye, okay, the eye of, in, on top of the pyramid or the eye through the pyramid, or the um, eyeball in the mouth, as such as you saw with uh, Katy Perry here, and also in Little Wayne's video. Uh, homie still, okay? Um, now, this I, okay, um, it solidifies the uh, the God that they worship, okay? Now, some people may say this started back in uh, with Freemasonry and things of that nature. And, um, you know, it was to describe who their God was. Now, some may say their God is Lucifer, um, but... Nobody really knows, okay? Um, and here's here's a here's something that that makes a a, a valid point here is that uh, certain symbols being used, okay, such as um, like like the eye on top of the pyramid, the uh, the Baphomet and things of that nature, or hand signs and things of that nature. All right, um, these all are. Uh, these all are connected, all right, in in a in a small but short way. Now, now here's the thing that I want to point out, and this is very important. Now, people may say that um, Freemasons they worship the devil and things of that nature, right? Um, now, mind you, I have never uh, witnessed a Freemason outwardly say that they uh, practice devil worship. Okay, but. Um, they did have a high ranking, um, a high ranking Freemason that did practice uh, devil worship. And I believe this is where a lot of people get that confused. They believe that Albert Pike um, gave a brief description on what his belief system was. And people uh, corresponded that and thought that that was, you know, the way that they, they you know, that they went. You know what I'm saying? But. Um, in this, in this organization, right, um, they don't require you to have any type of specific worship, but th here's, here's, we're going to get to it because the lower level ones don't know really what's going on. All right. Um, all of this stuff is basically, oh, excuse me. All of this stuff is basically, um, ran by Greek mythology. Okay. Um, these things have, have a connectivity to, uh, pagan, pagan worship, all right? Um, everything that you see in entertainment is not all satanic, but they do follow, uh, Greek mythology, okay? And, um, I'm gonna get into why sacrifices and things of that nature are so important, but we want to talk about signs and symbols. So, signs and symbols... Uh, define basically what uh, 
a organization they belong to or connection that they may have to one another, all right? Um, this is why certain hand gestures are thrown up in public or, you know, you see it on TV because it's, let, it's letting the other individuals know that, okay, he's with us, all right? So this is why you see certain signs uh, being placed in uh, videos with people using hand gestures and things of that nature, right? Um, now, symbols... Uh, are used uh, in visual, in videos, TVs, such as uh, the chessboard and duality and things of that nature, um, all kinds of things, all right, um, that I can go into detail about. But you see these uh, type of uh, symbols being used in all kinds of aspects of entertainment, all right, even in uh, basketball, sports, all, all kinds of uh, sorts of entertainment, all right, Um some of these symbols are in churches, all right, that they're right in front of you, all right? So um, we have to pay very close attention um, to what's actually going on in front of our eyes because their whole, like I said before, their whole agenda is for you not to know and to keep you out of, you know, out of the, you know, the, 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 the hidden knowledge, as they say, all right? So... When I spoke on um, um, the uh, white brotherhood, okay, now, like I said, I want you guys to do your research on what this is, but I'm, I'm putting this out there for y'all to, you know, get your knowledge and, and, you know, realize that the entertainment industry runs off of this energy, all right? So, um, yeah, man, it's, it's real. It's real, all right? So, we, we know for a fact that signs and symbols... Um, our way for them to connect to one another and describe what uh, organization they're part of, all right? Um, has nothing to do with um, anyone in any type of uh, group or whatever you may call it, Freemason or whatever. Um, this is a belief system, okay? This is a belief system, all right? Now, if Lucifer is behind this, which I truly believe that he is, as he always is behind things that project negativity to the general public um I, I would i would go out on the women say yeah this this is how these entertainers eat okay and um you know we've seen this we've seen this time and time again where uh people you know they don't really care they just go out for the gusto all right uh just to get a check so um Let's talk about sacrifices real quick. I'm going to make this very, very quick, all right? So you have three types of sacrifices. You have human sacrifices and you have um, animal sacrifices. Now, I'm going to talk about animal sacrifices because a lot of people... Oh, and also you have uh, self-sacrificing, which can be considered a humiliation ritual. Um, but are we going to talk about animal sacrifices in the uh, correspondence of how this works, okay, so, um, Chris Brown, all right, Chris Brown, um, recently, well, not recently, but, uh, had a, um, animal sacrifice done, okay, he had a dog, uh, by the name of Hades, okay, and if you know who Hades is, okay, that is the god of the underworld, all right, um, these, this is a Greek this is a Greek guy. Like I said, this, they all practice Greek mythology, all right? So when you see um, sororities and fraternities, things of that nature, um, they all practice Greek mythology, all right? And, you know, if, you, if you're African American, black, or whatever, and you, you're into this, all right, you're, you're into Greek mythology and things of that nature, um, you you know you gotta understand you're worshiping their gods, all right. Um, some people don't care. They don't. They, you know it's just you know I'm I pledge to this, so I'm sticking with it. Um, a lot of the things that are done um, in these organizations uh, follow through with, uh, like I said, Greek mythology. You know these people worship Apollo, um, Hades, Zeus. You know this is this is their gods. Um, you know, and, 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 you know, if you know God, uh, the God of music is uh, Apollo. He was very, he was very uh, musically inclined, all right? So, 
they they know that this is uh and and also you know people that are into sun worship you know they deal with Lord Saul okay um these these things have a, a significant uh, power behind them okay and um, this is why a lot of this these things are pushed in the general public uh, like sodomy and things of that nature because they're following uh, the Greek mythology all right so um. I believe Chris Brown made a sacrifice um, of his dog, all right? His dog, Hades. Now, how blatant can that be, all right? Uh, that's that's pretty blatant, all right? So when I speak on DMX and his dog, Uma, and things of that nature, you got to understand that um, every now and then, these, these deities that these people are worshiping, they need blood, all right? They need blood. So um, you got to you gotta do what you got to do, all right? Now, we're going to talk about human uh, sacrifices uh, that are done in the spiritual realm, all right? So when you see... Uh, now, don't get it confused and think that when you see on movies uh, people that are into uh, satanic cults and things of that nature, they go out and stab, they find somebody and lure them into the cult and... And stab them and, you know, make a rich, I don't know. It, it's that, that's not how it goes, okay? Um, there's an excerpt from, there's an excerpt from this book um, by author uh, Edward Waite uh, titled The Book of Black Magic and, and of Pax, okay? Um, and this book is giving people basic details on how to do human sacrifices, all right? And it's a spiritual realm. I'm not going to I'm not going to discuss what goes on, but you know, I'm cuz I'm not going to give you step by step uh placement on how to do this stuff because my job is to stray you away from this as much as possible, okay? But you have to be aware that some people want to know how and why these things happen, okay? So um in this book, he gives detail on how to do it in the spiritual realm, okay? Now, I'll give you this detail. The person is not, like, there was one incident where a young man uh, killed his best friend because he wanted to become a rapper, all right? And that's not how, it, how, it, how it's supposed to go. You have to have uh, spiritual connectivity of what goes on, okay? Um, usually, the individual's picture is placed alongside, all right, um, of the pentagram in a smaller circle, okay, uh, to give this person up as an offering. Um, when the, when, if the, if the, if the deity or the spirit accepts this person's blood to be sacrificed, um, something drastic will happen to them, and now their soul, okay, their soul is in the spiritual realm. They don't go to hell. Their soul is in the spiritual realm. And usually what happens is this spirit of the, or this person uh, that you have sacrificed to the underworld is now going to be your spirit guide, okay? Although you may have taken, you may have offered them, them uh, their blood to, uh, in, to a uh, deity, okay? The plasma has gone to the deity for the deity to live, but now this person's spiritual guide is going to guide you uh, on your path to success, okay? And um, you ask this person, th this is why usually uh, you see rappers with their friends uh, or, or people that they have lost in these medallions now, okay, with pictures of them because um, this is to signify that it, I wouldn't be here without this person's soul, okay? Um this is why you have to pay attention to why things are made popular, all right? Um, and, and you know, being careful of what you worship, all right? Um, so, yeah, the, you know, and there's Greek deities that they they uh, sacrifice them to, okay? Um, things of that nature, the devil, whatever. I mean, Satan, Lucifer. Um, you have to be... I'm not going to give you a detail, but I'm just saying it's a spiritual... It's a spiritual realm, okay? Um, that's not done physical. It's more spiritual, which is why you had people like Rihanna um, befriend her cousin Trayvon before he passed away, uh, took pictures with him and things of that nature, and then went back to the States and uh, 
Yeah, became more famous and popular. You know, that spirit needed the blood. Okay, and I believe that these people are guided by the spirits um, to pick and choose who will have to go. All right, so, um, yeah, I hope I touched on that a little bit. Um, so, um, uh, he, um, so I'm um, sorry. So, um, we're going to talk about self sacrifice now. Um, this could be um, anything in the nature of a humiliation ritual, okay? Um, where certain things take, pra take place, uh, practices are done. Um, to humiliate the artist. Now, when you see artists on stage, okay, and they're performing, and suddenly they fall off of stage or fall on stage or things of that nature, and it's made public and, you know, and the people are laughing or whatever the case may be, that's a sign of a humiliation ritual, okay? Um, it's, it's always, it's always uh, to the point where we have to see... Um, with our right with our right minds and understand that um, these people are partaking in certain things. Now you see one, um, individuals wearing a dress. Okay, um, these are these are sacrifices because they're not actually partaking in this on their own recognizance. They're being told to do so, you know, and, and in return they receive small benefits. Okay, this this is this these type of things don't make them rich. All right. But they receive small benefits to push certain agendas, all right? Um, Little Nas X is prime example of, you know, the harder you go, the harder you go in this, the more you receive, okay? Um, you have people like Lady Gaga, where she pushed uh, the homosexual agenda as well. Um, this is a self-sacrifice, okay? Not, not to mention that uh, I truly believe that she sacrificed her friend, uh, Lena Morgana, but we're not going to talk about that, all right? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, if you know who uh, Abramovich is, you know that she was using menstrual blood, okay? Um, I don't want to be too disgusting, but she was using menstrual blood, feces, and urine uh, to paint messages on the wall to Satan, okay? So this is how... You know, and 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 that's that's considered uh, self-sacrificing. Also, when you're giving up uh, your semen, okay, or your menstrual blood, um, things of that nature, and you can you offering these things to a spirit. All right, this is why necromancy and all that. Ah, it's it's too much for me to go into detail, but um, <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of things out there that people should be aware of and careful of. All right, so. Um, I hope I touched on this because I didn't want to. I didn't want to talk about this too much, but yes, the human sacrificing in the entertainment industry is needed because they they're worshiping Greek gods who um, require these things. All right, uh, they require blood. They require sacrifices to be done. All right, um, these are all pagan gods. All right, doesn't necessarily have to deal with the devil, but these are pagan gods. All right, um, the devil becomes pleased with this. Okay, he becomes pleased with these type of uh, antics that go on, and in return, you're gifted with more royalty. All right, so um, you're playing the devil's game basically. All right, so when you when you see these type of things uh, transpiring, uh, you know for a fact what it is. All right, um, yeah. So I hope I touched on everything, man. Appreciate everybody. Um. You know, for commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing, things of that nature. Um, I'm going to be dropping more videos as much as I can. Like I said, it takes me a long time to edit, so I try to get these done quickly as possible. All right? So, peace and blessings. I hope everybody got a little uh, bit of information out of that video. And, you know, I try to dance around certain topics, but I got to it. All right? Thank y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, and uh, peace.